The theory of evolution explains how and why there is so much variation in living organisms, from plants to birds, fish, goats, snakes, bugs and even you. And how does it do that? Well, it does so through the process of random mutations in the genetic code followed by natural selection. Run. If a newborn organism is equipped with a mutated gene, it will potentially have a unique characteristic that will either make it better suited for the natural environment it finds itself in, or it will make it less suited for the environment. And if it is better suited, it will be more likely to live long enough to find a mate and reproduce, thus carrying on the new gene onto the gene pool of the population. Because of this, new species most often occur when a group within a species separates from other members of its species and develops its own unique characteristics according to what is best suited for their environment. This is the process that has transpired throughout the entire history of living organisms and it explains how and why we find all of these magnificent and diverse life forms on our planet. Now, according to a study made by the University of Michigan, as of 2019, there's quite a lot of people who reject evolution. Evolution, where the strongest factor leading to the rejection was religious fundamentalism. So why don't we go through some of the most compelling evidence for evolution? One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for evolution is the fossil record. Fossils are the preserved remains of ancient organisms, and they provide a window into the past. By studying fossils, we can see how life on Earth has changed over time, and we can see how different species have evolved, how some have gone extinct, and how new ones have emerged. Our own body is an evolutionary masterpiece. If you place your finger at your anus and move it an inch or so upwards to the end of your spine, you might feel your tailbone, also known as the coccyx. Now, smell your finger. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> My ass. <laughs> the tailbone is a vestigial structure that once served a purpose in our primate ancestors, but no longer has a function in humans. It is a remnant of our primate ancestors who used it for balance while climbing trees. Our ability to get goosebumps is another example of our evolutionary heritage. Goosebumps are evolutionary remnants of our primate ancestors' hair raising to appear larger to intimidate predators, as well as using it for thermal control. But evolutionary evidence is not just found in humans, but in many different animal species as well. Some animals, like snakes and whales, have vestigial structures that show evidence of their evolutionary past. Despite the fact that whales as we know them do not have legs, they still have vestigial pelvic bones that are small and have no function. These bones are remnants of their ancestors' legs and they serve no purpose in the whale's body. This is because whales are descended from land mammals and their ancestors had legs and walked on land. However, over time, their legs became smaller and eventually disappeared as they evolved to live exclusively in water. DNA provides some of the most compelling evidence for evolution. DNA is the code of life and it holds many secrets about our evolutionary past. By comparing the DNA sequences of different species, we can see how closely related they are and how they have evolved over time. Thus, the evolutionary tree of life can be mapped out through DNA analysis, showing how all living organisms are related and evolved from a common ancestor. For example, humans share about 98% of our DNA with chimpanzees, our closest living relatives. One of the most fascinating areas of research on evolution is experimental evolution. Scientists have been able to observe evolution happening in real time, using organisms that reproduce quickly and can be studied in the lab, tracking changes in their genetic makeup and observing how they adapt to new environments. One famous example of experimental evolution comes from the work of Richard Lensky, who has been studying a population of E. coli bacteria for over 30 years. In that time, he has observed the bacteria evolving in response to their environment, including the ability to digest new types of food. Also, evolution can be observed through the process of random mutations followed by artificial selection. Dog breeding is an example of artificial selection, which is a process that mimics natural selection but is carried out by humans rather than by the environment. Humans selectively breed dogs to create new breeds with specific desirable traits such as size, coat type and temperament. Over time, these selective breeding practices have led to significant genetic changes within dog populations, demonstrating evolution in action. Therefore, the process of dog breeding is a powerful example of how evolution occurs, and when it's not humans who are actively doing the selection, 
nature will do it. And this is what nature has been doing throughout the entire history of living organisms on this planet. The theory of evolution is therefore not just a theory. It is a fact that is supported by a vast amount of evidence. From the evidence found in our own body to the DNA evidence that links all living beings. By understanding evolution we can better understand our place in the world and how we came to be.